Okay, morning year six, Maiden Beach. Uh, welcome. This is, um, this is a special event this morning. Um, you can see before you, we have here this wonderful kit car. Uh, does it have a, a formal name? Is it a kit well, car? This or is, is um, we call it the Silver Line Kit Car. Silver Line Kit Car, that's a pretty glamorous name, I think. Um, the reason this is a special occasion is because we've been donated this kit car um, by Silver Line Tools and Green Power, who, who run a competition where school children can race these cars. Okay, and that's where you guys come into this, because we will need a team to win this for Maiden Beach next year. Okay, you get to, to, to assemble the car. Um, but I just wanted to say, I hope that some of you will get involved. Who's keen? Who fancies the idea of assembling a car and racing it? One of you, in fact, it'll be more than one of you, because it's an endurance test. It takes over an hour, and so you have to have at least five drivers. You take it in turns uh, to do laps of the course. And the final is at Goodwood. I don't know if any of you have heard of Goodwood. It's quite famous. But there are lots of racing events through the year. So we will need people to assemble it. If good with a spanner and a screwdriver, we'll need people to race it. So I don't know if many of you uh, know that you're naturally good car drivers. But um, if you are, you're the people for, for, the, for the kit car. Um, on behalf of the charity, Green Power Education Trust, I really want to thank Silverline uh, for supporting us. Uh, the, the charity needs sponsors and Silverline have stepped in with wonderful sponsorship this year. They've also uh, given us, uh, with each of these cars, you get a wonderful Silverline toolkit because they actually make and distribute these tools. And it is only because of Silverline that, that Green Power uh, can do this sort of thing and survive. We've got three or four really good sponsors and Silverline <coughs> are one of them. Uh, they, this year they're sponsoring the Corporate Challenge, which is a rather good thing because it's companies competing against the children. So at the final in October there's a separate race where um, companies like Jaguar Land Rover, Bentley, I think Lotus this year are entering and competing against the school teams. And I have to tell you, quite often, the school teams win. <laughs> so, thanks to Silverline. Yes, thank you very much for inviting me to be here with you today. This is the first time I've seen one of these and it looks a great piece of kit. Um, so I'm really pleased to be here. I'm very grateful to Edward and to Green Power for their involvement in this and for involving schools in this way. And to Silverline, who are another really great, um, very, very successful company in Yeovil and uh, who have given um, some of the kit that's here today uh, to enable you to get all of this off the ground. So thanks both to Silverline and to Green Power. I mean, your school, Maiden Beach, has always had a really good reputation, I think, in science and D&T. You've got some good teachers in it. And I know it's something that the school has been very passionate about in the past. And as Edward said, there was a period, sort of 10 or 20 years ago, when engineering went out of fashion a bit in our country and people started doing lots of other jobs. And now it has definitely come back into fashion. There are lots of people who are leaving school and doing apprenticeships where they're um, getting involved in engineering. We, of course, in our area, have got loads and loads of companies that are really good in engineering, uh, not just things like Augusta Westland that designed some of the most complicated um, helicopters in the world, but lots of other engineering companies in Krukern and in Yeovil and in Ilminster and Chard. So it's also a good thing to think about and go on to do after you leave school. Um, so this I think is going to give you a real boost in terms of your engineering skills and I'm pleased to hear that the instruction manual is quite a simple one because I always struggle with things like that. I think you're going to have a lot of fun in, in building this and trying to design something that's going to be even better than this simple looking model mm. so that it will go faster. And I think the other thing is that it will not only be um, a great way of learning about engineering, but it sounds like it will be very good fun as well, because uh, Goodwood is certainly a very impressive uh, racing track. And if the races are one and a half hours in length, that sounds like it's going to be pretty interesting and fun. And obviously, even though this looks like it only seats one person, um, I understand that there are five people involved in these relay races, so a number of you may end up getting involved in that and I reckon Mr Smith is also eyeing up the possibility of using this car but apparently there's a top age
range of 16, uh, which we feel that he probably is going to be in breach of. Do you see uh, this in the staff car park? <laughs> <laughs> so don't let him get his hands on it, uh, otherwise he'll probably get damaged fairly quickly. And I look forward, by the way, not only to you going along to Goodwood at some stage to see these races, but what I want to hear is that you're there winning the race um, and that Maiden Beach has got to the top uh, and got the best drivers and the best car. So good luck with that, and I expect to hear good reports from, from Mr. Smith of your racing exploits. Well done. Okay, right.